It's Caitlin here. Hope you're all safe and well and that you're doing lots of home learning at home. This week I'm going to be reading you a story. Let's have a look and see which story it is. So it's inside this book which is called Yummy, my favourite story. So let's have a look inside. Oh, It's going to be this story this week. Oh that's a tricky word that reception should know. The Enormous turnip. The enormous turnip. I wonder if anybody's heard this story before. Okay, once upon a time, an old man wanted to grow turnips. Now, turnips are a type of vegetable which grow in the ground. And he planted some, so he scattered some seeds on his garden and he said, Grow, seeds, grow grow into big juicy turnips. Oh, I said that in my normal voice. Maybe I can think of a voice I could use for an old man or maybe a low voice. Let's see. Grow seeds, grow. Grow into big juicy turnips. That's the old man there. The next morning, the old man went out into the garden and found that one enormous turnip had grown, but when he tried to pull it up, he pulled and he pulled, but it wouldn't come out. Look how enormous that is. Oh, there's some nice mini beasts there on the, on the turnip. Is that a ladybird? And there's a butterfly. Beautiful illustrations in this book. So he pulled and he pulled. I wonder what will happen next. The old man called the old woman. Please help me pull up the turnip, he said. The old woman called the boy. Oh, it's, it's a lady this time, so I won't make my voice a little bit higher. Please help us, please help us pull up the turnip, she said. The boy called the girl. Please help us pull up the turnip, he said. They pulled and they pulled, but the enormous turnip just wouldn't come out. So there's the enormous turnip. The old man was pulling the turnip, the old lady was pulling the old man, the boy was pulling the old lady, and the girl was pulling the boy. How many people were trying to pull up the turnip? Shall we count? One, two, three, four. Four people were trying to pull up the turnip, but it wouldn't come out. Dog, dog. Help us pull up the turnip, called the girl. Oh, that's a girl's voice. Oh, it's a, a little girl, so I might do a high voice. So, dog, dog, help us pull up the turnip, called the girl. They pulled and they pulled. Oh, the, the dog's speaking on this one, so I might make my voice sound like a dog. Cut, cut, help us pull up the turnip, called the dog. They pulled and they pulled. Mouse, mouse, help us pull up the turnip, called the cat. Oh, I think I could do that slowly for a cat. So, mouse, mouse, help us pull up the cut turnip, called the cat. They pulled and they pulled and they pulled. They pulled and they pulled. So now the dog is holding on to the girl and the cat is holding on to the dog and the mouse is holding on to the cat. Even more people trying to pull the turnip now. And at last, out came the turnip. Hooray! How many people and animals did it take to pull up the turnip? Let's count, shall we? So we've got the old man, it's one. The old woman, two. The boy is three. The girl is four. The dog is five. The cat is six. And the mouse is seven. So seven, just to pull up this enormous turnip. I wonder what they will do with it. They took the turnip home and chopped it and cooked it and had an enormous feast and they are probably still eating now. Oh, that's a lot of turnip in there. Wow, I hope you enjoyed that story. I really enjoyed that story. I like that they um, were trying tortoises and when they couldn't get the turnip out, they just kept pulling and pulling and asking their friends for help. And finally, they got the turnip out. That was a really nice.
nice story. I hope you enjoyed that story. That's going to be our story of the week this week, the enormous turnip. Don't forget to tweet us using the hashtag LHEYFS1920. And you can email me or Eleanor or Sel all of your pictures or videos of the home learning you've been doing at home. There'll be a maths video up on Wednesday and then a crafty video on Thursday for you to have a look at as well. Hopefully see you guys soon. Bye.